Go. How are you doing? Welcome to Beach Investing. I am your host, Andre Angelkovsky, and today we are going to be interviewing a very special guest. His name is Ian Zabo, and Ian is a renovation expert. And here he is. Welcome, Ian. How are you doing? Excellent. And you? Good, thank you. Thanks for Thanks. having me. Thanks for coming out. Uh, Ian uh, has been flipping properties. Uh, actually, you know what? Ian, why don't you tell us what you do? Yeah, so basically for eight years I've been flipping properties. I own a construction company called PLP Contracting. And what we do is we buy houses that are in great areas like the beaches and uh, we completely gut them. We renovate them with permits, not like the crazy TV shows you see in the States. Uh, we gut that properties, we fix them up above a market level or average level and we sell them. And if the market crashes or we have some problems, we refinance them and we rent them out to great tenants. So great exit strategy. For sure. So you have multiple options. Uh, so you can either flip them, uh, you can hold them and rent them out. Great option. Yeah. Uh, so tell me, uh, how have you sort of done your projects? Uh, how long do they normally take for you? The biggest problem that we have typically um, is permits and bylaws. That takes the longest. So you know we bought a project in the beaches. It's a small bungalow. Uh, we had it gutted in a day and a half. And we waited two months for permits. We're on our fourth week and it's all our inspections have passed. Mm -hmm. We're at the point of standing. So we're probably, I'd say our average project is about two months. Okay. So two Start months. to finish rental, not including permits and all the other stuff. So. Uh, okay, so uh, how, how do you feel about the market in the area of the beaches that you've purchased this one pro project that you're working on right now? How do you feel that it's working for you or is it a good market to get into for a flipper? Yeah, the, the biggest thing that I like to talk about when flipping, and that's why I kind of educate as well, is because everyone watches these TV shows and thinks they can just go in and buy a place and fix it up and make money. And to be honest with you, I teach a course called Flip School, and the course is, my opening statement is 98% of the people here aren't going to be able to do what I do. Uh, you know, it's, I'm just wired differently. So everyone can take bits and pieces of what I know and add them to their investment portfolio if they need a bathroom renovation, and they can learn how to communicate with contractors. But the biggest thing is, Flipping is not for the easiest. It's not the easiest thing to do, excuse me. So for me, I love, I love the beaches. The one thing I like about it is I own long-term investments. So I own uh, buy and holds. So for me, it doesn't really matter. I have an exit strategy. I'm buying places in the beaches for $200,000, which is unheard of. For those of you, $200,000, <laughs> that's a little unheard of. But Ian has somehow pulled that off. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. So the, the nice thing about it is I have some insurance. People are going to pay, when we add the design features, people are going to pay the extra money to come in and uh, rent from us. Excellent. So uh, are, you, uh, are you able to tell us on average what a project uh, costs, what you get out of it, what you put into it, so our viewers can uh, sort of understand what is in the... Uh... Well, most people think you were, you were going to make one hundred dollars or $200,000 profit, but that's not the case. A good flip for me is thirty to eighty grand. i am happy from thirty or $25,000. You know, I used to do renovations for customers and if you do a bathroom renovation, you're lucky to pull out five grand in your pocket. So for me, I eliminated, I basically fired all my clients, which is kind of a nice feeling actually. I fired all my clients and now I kind of just work on my, for myself. So I get to design, I get to pick everything out and that's why it's so smooth to be honest with you. Awesome, is there any advice that you'd offer uh, new, uh, new flippers or even veteran flippers out there? What's the number one advice that you'd offer someone? The number one advice is don't buy off MLS. That's the number one piece of advice. It's not good for realtors, but that's the truth. I buy all my properties door knocking or I leave notes on people's doors. Um, the problem with MLS, unless you're exclusive, unless you're with an agent that has inside leads, which I know you do, the big problem is everybody that's renovated a bathroom, everyone's seen a renovation TV show, thinks they can flip a house, so they'll outbid you. There's not enough money left to actually make a profit there. So that's probably kind of a backhanded helping thing. But, uh, all right. Well, thank you, uh, Ian. I appreciate you coming out. And uh, I'd like to hear your opinion. Uh, post below us, uh, below this video, with your comments on flipping, your experiences, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks.